Hey, what's up, what's up, Libra? It's your girl, Tasha, Unstoppable. Like, subscribe, don't forget to comment and share my channel. This message is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If the reading doesn't resonate, watch your other signs. This is not personal, but a collective reading for Libra, okay? Keep an open mind. It could be your story in the future if it does not resonate for you, okay? Uh, so Libras, I see uh, for you uh, releasing burdens of the expectations of what people uh, want you to do, okay? Or you're being called to release expectations of what others have on you at this time and go out and have fun. Let your hair down, okay? Um, also, you could be uh, um, like kind of tempted in a way to act out a character or, um, you know, people could be trying to demotivate you in some kind of way and you're being called to uh, you know, just act calm in this situation. Don't let anybody uh, see you uh, sweat, okay? Don't lose your cool. Stay calm. Stay focused, okay? Because karma is everything, okay? So let it play out for you, all right? For some of you, I do see a new home purchase coming in for you as well, okay? And uh, also, I do see somebody that's thinking about you, okay? At the bottom of the deck, which is already pre-shuffled, is the Three of Cups, okay? So I see you, uh, you know, coming into an abundance of... Of, uh, people, places, and things, meeting new people, uh, you know, uh, finding new relationships, getting out, having fun, okay? But this is about fun and successful relationships with new people or people that you already know, okay? And I feel like you're going to have a new understanding or you'll develop a new understanding of what makes you happy, all right? OK, uh, some of you have uh, some kind of popularity around you. Maybe people are noticing you more. I also feel like, uh, you know, you you're looking better as well here. OK, you may be getting some kind of invitation to go out and party with your friends. OK, some of you could be in uh, uh, decorations or fashion. Uh, you may be artistic in some kind of way. OK. But I'm seeing your harvest is definitely going to be coming in, okay? Someone is getting married as well, okay? Or you could be, um, you know, something uh, really, really uh, creative, okay, is going to make you happy, okay? We have the page of swords, so uh, I feel like somebody is watching you as well here, okay? This could be someone that's younger than you, or doesn't necessarily mean that this is someone younger than you, okay? But I feel like there is an opportunity that's going to be coming towards you here that's going to, um, um, you know, make you be more free in a sense here, okay? But yeah, I see someone that's really, really curious about you as well. They could see you out in a party. You may meet somebody while you're out, okay? This is someone that works really, really hard here, okay? But I do see that you're overworking yourself as well, so you really need to get some rest, okay? But your heart could be feeling kind of heavy as well, or this person. Um, you might have walked away from this person and this person, uh, you know, feel like uh, they're in a battle with you. There's something really weighing on their mind. OK, and they could be talking to friends or talking to your friends or seeking some kind of advice among people, you know, maybe your social group you can have the same social group as this person. OK, but, uh, you know, um, there's a lot of responsibilities on you at this time here. OK, and you're being called to try to prioritize your goals. OK, or those things that you really need to do when it comes to your task. OK, I do see you making a change for the better. Some of you are going to be giving back as well here. OK, I do see an increase in sales and business. You could be dealing with someone in business or you self-employed here, but you're going to be gaining control over your finances. All right. Um there is something that you left out in the cold. This could be this person here that's watching you, okay? They see that you're giving to others or you're no longer giving to this situation anymore. You cut your ties, you cut your losses with this person and you walked away, okay? But I feel like this person is seeing you being more attractive, more outgoing, okay, and giving. But it's like you're being defensive as well, okay? So it's like you were steady giving to this connection here that, uh, you know, it's like this person wasn't really putting in the effort to be with you. And for some of you, you cut off the communication with them. OK, you're no longer talking to them. You're no longer dealing with them. OK. And I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody new because this person has some deception around him. You could be dealing with the Pisces. OK, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio I have all signs here. OK, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. OK. 
there's someone that come wants to come in and offer you happiness okay some of you could have been dealing with someone that was married in a committed relationship or this person wants to come in and give you a new relationship yeah so you walked away now they want to come in and make an offer towards you but this person was having other people in the middle of this connection there were obstacles in the middle of this but now with the temperance you could be dealing with the sagittarius as well and the three of swords here and the five of pentacles they want to um you know, uh, they want to get past this heartbreak, whatever, uh, whatever it is that caused you any pain or hurt, which I feel like you guys are kind of in, incompatible, incompatible in some kind of way. You guys could have had some kind of argument or dis, uh, dis, disagreement. This person could stutter or maybe they're not very good at lying. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like a possible reconciliation is coming in here, okay? And I feel like you're trying to take balance and control over your own life as well here. And you're trying to heal yourself from heartbreak and pain. But some of you, you're going to be walking away from this connection, all right? There is some kind of worry or stress or there is some kind of insecurity going on here. Maybe you feel like you wasn't good enough for this person. This person wasn't really putting you first. They were dealing with other people in the middle of this connection here. For some of you, you kicked them to the curb. You chunk the deuces, okay? And it's like now you're focusing on new. You're uh, going on a new uh, uh, spiritual journey. It's like you're going to be ending this uh, toxic negative cycle that no longer serves you, okay? I do see you doing some self-examination as well, and you're going to be going through a personal growth. At the end of the day, it's like, yeah, I deserve my happiness. And for some of you, you're going to take that. But this is going to make you really think about this, Okay. There may be something regarding clarity as well with the moon card. I feel like there is something that you really want to know or that you need to know, okay? You could be feeling kind of confused or distracted as well. Some of you may be forgetful at this time, okay? What else is going on for Libra, please? Okay, I do see for some of you, uh, you could be going back to school, studying something as well. There are a lot of options that's going to be coming towards you. A soulmate is coming in, okay? But this person, I feel like they really want to come in and change. They want to ask you for your forgiveness now that you walked away from them, okay? I feel like at the end of the day, uh, you probably would let them come back in, okay? But it's like, don't waste my time, okay? I've given you chance after chance after chance. For some of you, this is a, a you know, a cycle that is like constantly going, constantly going, constantly going, okay? But for some of you, it's like with the death card here, you ended the cycle, but with the seven of ones, I also feel like a part of you doesn't want to let this go. You want to hang on to this relationship. You want to keep this person and as an option or this person is keeping you as an option they don't want to let you go and you keep allowing this person to come back in because i feel like there are some illusions around them i feel like this person is also like a smooth talker as well they're sophisticated they could be someone that's very intellectual really good with words and they have a way to uh you know um they have a way to make you look at things differently, like, well, make you feel sorry for them, okay? Um, and, and it's like, you know, um, you know, at the end of the day here, what I feel like you really deserve, what you really deserve is happiness, okay? But I feel like sometimes you think about this person, okay? Uh, how it could have been, what it could have been, you know, it's like a woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know what I'm saying, Okay. But there is a new love affair that's coming towards you. And you do have the possibility of reconciliation with this past person if you decide to do that, okay? But some of you could meet someone at work as well, okay? You may have a relationship with somebody that you work with, all right? But I feel like at the end of the day, that's what you really desire is to be with somebody new and somebody that's going to treat you right, okay? Okay? Okay. Mm. Someone around you is envious of you. We have a three of coins in reverse, and we also have a seven of cups here. There's somebody possibly in your workplace is very envious of you. Maybe it's because you. I feel like you people see you as uh, options, or people really look at you uh, in. Uh, 
it's like maybe there's a lot of different things you know how to do. Uh, I feel like you're very uh, knowledgeable about some things. You have a lot of uh, season to you. There's something in your community uh, that you're really, really good at, okay, as far as your business, as far as work. And I feel like there is definitely some uh, deception. People are really watching you, and they're envious of you, okay? There could be people in the middle of this connection as well that's envious of you as well. You could have a baby mama, but baby daddy. Uh, that you're dealing with, okay? Yeah, be careful with conflicts at work. What else is this about, please? Okay, this is about an opportunity that's going to be coming towards you here. So somebody's trying to stop an opportunity from coming in, okay? But your money, your material, your possessions are definitely going to be looking good, okay? So whoever this is, this uh, selfish person here, like I said, somebody could be trying you, okay? Getting on your nerves, trying to, you know, gather, I mean, uh, rile you up in some kind of way. But I feel like they're also trying to gather some kind of information with the Seven of Cups. It's like this person is looking at you, trying to pick at you in some kind of way. It's kind of like, hmm, what can I do? What Which way could I go now to piss Libra off, okay? But at the end of the day here, you're going to trust your own instincts. I feel like you're going to see this coming, okay? But like I said, don't let them get under your skin, okay? Some of you need to work on your physical fitness as well. You're being called to eat more healthier foods, okay? I do see your beauty looking really, really good. Somebody's coming towards you that's really passionate about you, okay? I feel like this person with the Knight of Wands energy, yeah, they want to come in really quickly here, but I feel like this is someone that's in and out. This person is a player, okay? They want to start a new beginning with you, okay? But I do see your... This person sees that you are the golden opportunity that they've missed out on because they were choosing and dealing with other people, okay? And for some of you, they let other people come in the middle of this connection here, okay? This person was being selfish and they wasn't really choosing you, okay? There is a part of you that's going to be moving on into calmer waters, but you could be feeling very, very overwhelmed, okay, by things that are going on around you at this time, whether that's people, places, or things here, okay? This is you dealing with day-to-day -day problems, okay? Just wanting to, you know, have some calmness about situations that's going on right now. There could be some kind of unfavorable lawsuit as well that you could be dealing with as well. Some of you are dealing with the marriage that you're not really happy with, but it's like at the end of the day here, I do see your marriage is going to be uh, looking better. Problems will be resolved that you're going through, okay? Just keep working on it. Keep communicating with one another, okay? But there is a better future that's coming ahead, okay? And things are, are going to work out. Some you're going to be traveling as well. You could be traveling by water. Someone's going to be getting married. You could be dealing with the Taurus as well here, okay? Something about spiritual growth. Yep, teamwork, okay? Um, some of you could be going back to school. Some of you could be educators. You could be in the medical field of religion, uh, bookkeepers out there. You could be learning something regarding religion, but this person is looked up in the community or this person is really, really popular. They could be getting some kind of counsel or seeking some kind of counsel about you. Yeah, they see you as they wish. They don't want to let you go, but I do see you. A sexual connection could be coming in with someone. Okay. Uh, be careful with rushing into things that, you know, just make sure you get to know people before you rush into things here. Okay. This person also could look very, very well. They may be athletic or built or they take care of themselves, okay? Um, but I see you uh, coming into some kind of emotional peace and satisfying a uh, relationship that's going to be coming towards you, okay? This is all about the nine of cups. It's about happiness, wish fulfillments, okay? Achieving goals, but it doesn't mean that it lasts forever. You know, this could be for the moment. So this could be just someone that you meet for a while. Okay. But I feel like your heart is closed off from, um, you know, new connections. Okay. Maybe you just want to fling with somebody here, but I feel like your heart is really going to be closed off. There are some emotional barriers that you're going to be going through because you're protecting yourself from love, from hurt, from love, but from the things that have hurt you in the past. So it's like, you don't want the same problems over and over again, but you got to learn those lessons that you're going through. Realize that these are karmic people that you're meeting. So when you meet that person, you cut it right when you see it. Okay. 
And hey, we can be friends, we can get coffee, we could get tea, but a relationship is not for us, okay? Um, so like, yeah, it's like you also could be trying not to really see the person for what they're doing here, okay? Maybe a part of you you've allowed this person to do it for so long to where you don't want to see it. Okay. It's like, I don't even want to see it no more. Or it's just you that you're done with love at this time. Okay. You don't want to deal with anything. Okay. So some of you, your heart is closed off, but the two of cups, okay. Did eventually come out. So yeah, a new start in love is coming towards you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. We do have the seven of swords here. Be careful. Make sure this is someone that you really get to know here. We do have the will of fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Okay. So maybe that this person is running from something or hiding. They could be, they could also have been with the queen of pentacles. They could have been dealing with another person as well here. Or there's something that a secret that they're hiding from you. But I feel like what they really want to do is move towards you because they see you as a better option because the person that they were dealing with, I don't feel like they're really happy with them in this connection. They see you as the star. Some of you are famous out there, popular, could be dealing with Aquarius to have Aquarius in your chart. Okay, somebody could. All right. Yeah, this is a satisfying, uh, enjoyable relationship that you're going to be coming into with somebody here. But like I said, it could be just for the moment. OK, so make sure you get to know this person because this could be someone that's kind of selfish as well. OK, just, you know, they they got some decisions or some things that's going on around them. They're really not making choices or they're really bad in choices or it's like their destiny is uh, it's just not where it needs to be. Like they, they keep changing things. It's like they have an inability to make a decision about something with the will of fortune and the seven of swords here. OK, but I do feel like, you know, there is going to be a positive change, a shift that's going to change here. OK, some of you. You could be uh, confining in a mother or a woman figure around you that's positive, okay? Some of you could be in uh, like social, political uh, organizations as well here, but there is somebody that's dependable, a family-oriented person, a friend, someone that's stable, okay, that could be coming towards you, or you're going into some kind of stability OK, it's like I see you really working hard. OK, something is going to change a big major change. I feel like it's coming towards you. OK, I feel like you're going to be ending the cycle and beginning a new one. OK, so it's like you're going to be finding yourself, rejuvenating yourself, healing yourself, um, you know, getting out of heartbreak. OK, you're really going to be doing some thinking and healing and going within here. But it's like, you know, um, you're just more so concerned about, you know, um, helping others, okay, being more organized and generous, okay, but like I said, be careful with people trying to, I feel like there's somebody that's trying to play on you because they know that you're a giver or you're generous or you, you like, you try to be kind and nice to people, but it's like people play on your emotions or something like that or this person is, okay, Let's see what this person has to say. I want to work things out. Hmm. How many times do they have to say that? I wonder. This is the end. Okay, so for some of you, they know that this is the end. They know that this is not going to work out. But some of them, they're dealing with somebody else that they left as well, okay? Or they just know, like, you know, I know that I really screwed up this time, and Libra is not going to take me back, okay? Destiny is taking us down different paths, exactly. Says you are one of a kind. I'm lucky to have you. Someone wants to meet you in the boom, boom room. Okay. This could have been a sex based relationship. We are not meant to be. Wow. Huh? This person wants to have their cake and eat it too. This is somebody that's the player that you're dealing with. Okay. I feel like this person doesn't know what the hell they want. <laughs> It's like, I feel like they want you to be the one that's at home cooking and 
cleaning and, you know, the domestic partner, you know what I'm saying? Doing all the wifey duties, the husband, whatever. Just take it how it resonates, okay? While they go out and run with Sally Sue and everybody else, okay? Like, this is what I feel. They say you're one of a kind. They lucky to have you. We are not meant to be. Because this person know you deserves better than them. But they don't want that to happen. They know that you are two different people. Oh, there's another card to fill out. You are always on my mind. Okay, wow. So this person's always thinking about you, but they know that destiny is taking you down different paths, yet they want to hang on to the relationship. Somebody's hanging on for dear life. Okay. This person could could have been someone that liked to show you off as well. At the bottom of the deck is this was just a fling. Wow. Mmm, that's deep. That's real deep, Libra. It's a little different from last week. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, creativity. All right, some of you are really good with your hands. You could be uh, creating a new business, starting a new business. Okay, there's something about creative energies that requires your attention. Choose an outlet for this pent-up energy and allow it to flow through you. Dance, art, music, craft, whatever feels right to you. Everyone is creative. Let your inner child play out. Some of you have children. You can work in a daycare as well. All right. Or you're really good with kids, good with children. Some of you, you may dance. You may be in art and music as well. Like I said, really good with your hands, crafts. Some of you need to get some rest as well. Okay. 27 or 72 can be significant as well, which is nice. So wisdom, maturity, love, and protection. All right? Love, be free from all that holds you back. Exactly. Some of you need to be free of what holds you back, but the butterfly is here. So a transition is coming in for you that's going to allow you to receive love. But open your heart and don't let your guard down. Don't be too hard on yourself or the person, but another nine. 1881 is nine, okay? So nines are significant to you. Two nines. Some of you could wear hats. You may like the color red as well. Some of you may have cats or attract cats, but I feel like you're someone that's spiritual as well, okay? Stillness, be calm, be still. Listen to things as they come to you. You're being guided to uh, follow your intuition, okay? Uh, 34, okay, which is seven. Okay, so be calm and quiet, okay? But this is freeing yourself of obstacles, okay? Searching for the truth, searching for, for answers maybe, okay? But I feel like there is a message coming in towards you, okay? I don't know why my cards are upside down. Generosity keeps coming out, okay? Some of you are really generous out there. There is someone that's watching you with the cat up there that's watching, okay? Someone is watching you, trying to see what you're up to, okay? They could see you giving back in some kind of way, being positive. Or they see that you're, uh, you know, self, you know, doing some self-care. You know, people really like to see, especially men, um, they want to see that you have another life or you know, you got things going on for yourself because it's like when you're always clinging on to them, you know, it might just kind of make them turn their nose up, you know, like I feel like this person admires this about you, that you're a giver, that you don't uh, cling on to their cling on to them for anything you try to do yourself or be yourself. OK, and it's this is what attracts this person to you. I feel like other admirers around you at this time is really liking you for what you do, how you look, how you dress, how you take care of yourself. OK, some of you, a new job is coming in as well. Also, you could be buying groceries, delivering groceries. OK, some of you could work in a, like transportation field or health care of some sort. OK. Or it's like you give to others. You could work in a community as well, okay? Mm. 
Whoa. All right. So we have calmness. Like I say this week, don't let anyone get under your skin. Someone could be trying to test you. Okay. Uh, but let things settle. Walk away. Take a deep breath and walk away. Okay. That's the best thing you could do is just stay quiet. Stay silent. Let them play themselves. All right. Before, so uh, this is about your uh, ancestors, self-expression, self-fulfillment, okay? Your love, you're protected. Your ancestors are watching over you. Peace, okay? Yeah, there's a lot about comedy and peace, okay? So you really need to heal yourself, Get do some meditations, um, you know, listen to some soothing music, get around water and nature so that you can kind of calm yourself. Okay, so I mean, you could be feeling riled up or someone's going to try this. All right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, open your heart. All right. Something about fertility. You can have children and there you may be getting pregnant, finding out that you're pregnant here. But I feel like, you know, good luck is definitely coming in. Okay, there's a message that's going to be coming towards you as well. Some of you are confiding in a female figure. You could be part of the LGBTQ as well. Okay, but five of major life changes coming in. Okay, out of the light, out of the darkness comes the light. Okay, so some of you there is something that needs to be revealed or something you may need to get off your chest to tell some other people. Okay, or you may find out something about this person. Okay. But I feel like you're hoping for the better. You're hoping for a better change. Um, you know, um, you may get the opportunity to do this, but just realize that this person is definitely a player, okay? You could be confining in a sister, mother, okay? Uh, maybe this person could be thinking about you as well or worried about you in some kind of way. I do feel like you have a guardian angel protecting you around you at this time as well, okay? You could also be dealing with the earth sign. Some of you like the colors green, red, purple, teal, blue. Okay. You could also have a difficulty with sleeping. Okay. Yep. Power, the power is in your hands. Oh, wow, what is this one? Okay, some of you are dealing with the earth sign, but grounding, get out into nature, okay? So that you can heal more. Power came back out. Imagination, invocation, boundaries. Some of you need to set boundaries and grounding came back out, okay? At the bottom of the deck is containment. Okay. Let's read this. Okay. With containment, there is important information missing. Someone is hiding something from you. Don't make the move until you have all the details. Harness and nurture your natural gifts. The world is not ready for what you have to offer at this time. Wait until the time is right. Okay? Imagination. Some of you could be dealing with the air sign, but you are air. So work with the element of air to steal the mind. Meditate daily. I just said that. Start a new project. Trust your second sight. Write, paint, or draw. Get outside, hear the wind. Take long walks or sky drive, okay? So you're being called to start on that new project, but make sure that when you are um, when you get ready to do it, that you have all your ducks lined up in a row. So don't start something too quickly, okay, without thinking about, you know, what the consequences could be if you don't, you know, do things in a proper manner, okay? The power of air sweeps through your imagination, urging you to believe what you see for you have been blessed with second sight. Strange shapes in the sky, vivid colors as you close your eyes. Sighting, repetitive signs and symbols all confirm your natural clairvoyance, okay? So some of you are psychics out there, or you may not necessarily know 
um, that you have, a, or you know you have a gift, but you don't know how to use that gift, okay? So you may be trying to learn how to do this, but I do feel a lot of you are really powerful and very, very intuitive as well, okay? A candy gift um, for a magician, indeed. So disregard your doubts about your ability of clear seeing, for these fears blow you off course. Instead, stand firm in the eye of the storm and know that your visions are valid. For your imagination is the gateway to real magic that beckons a world you have been longing to discover. Call upon the spirits of the air to enhance your creativity and meditation abilities and to stimulate your mind as you light incense, a yellow candle, and face the direction of east. This is a great time for fertility as air blows you in the direction of new beginnings. So throw caution to the wind and watch as your visions manifest into reality, okay? Some of you could be thinking about moving, okay? Uh, something about travel as well, okay? Somebody uh, could be thinking about traveling towards you, okay? But yeah, so yeah, I feel like you're, uh, you know, like I say, you can see things or you you will be able to learn how to uh, use your, um, your gifts, in a very powerful way, okay? Some of you could be doing rituals as well, okay? You could be uh, uh, invocating, okay? Let's read this ritual. All right. Says to join a coven for ritual work and safety. Your connection with a deity is linked to past lives. All right. Honor the deities that you, um, you know, you call. Remember your protection. Dedicate an altar to your favorite deity. Okay. If this is something you're into, you desire to connect with the goddess and gods has been acknowledged. Your desire. But do you understand the true nature of the deities you are trying to summon? Heed the warning, okay? Uh, be careful with this. Uh, this is to teach you and to prepare you for power, but judge wisely, okay? Um, true invocation is to surrender to be a vessel in order for the deity that you have summoned to function within you for a short period. This card has been drawn to assure you that the love and relationship you have with a particular God or goddess is real and runs through the very essence of who you are through the midst of time. As you inspire to be more than your own greatness, to be humbled enough to serve the connection, become stronger. Okay. Some of you could be thinking about joining the coven or you're part, part of a coven. Okay. Libra, Libra, prosperity lies ahead, you could be dealing with the Taurus, nothing yet is set in stone, okay, so whatever this is, don't let this uh, pull you back or hold you down, because there's nothing set yet in stone, this could change in a heartbeat, the minute you decide that you want to stick with somebody that's not giving you their all, okay? This person has some growing up that they need to do. There are things that they may have not told you, and this person is not ready to be in a relationship. We already uh, determined this, but meditate and contemplate, okay? So some of you are working on your meditations at this time, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces as well, or have Pisces in your chart. Work through your fears, okay? And this one says emotions are running high, all right? So, yeah, you're being called to do your meditations, making you sure you're um, working on yourself at this time. Don't let this person bother you or let people get you riled up. Crown chakra, okay? The number seven could be significant. But you may like the colors purple. This is the Sahasara Mudra, okay? The meaning is effinite, okay? And this is the crown of your head, of course. Um, this is the thousand petal lotus flower. Some of you may like flowers. This rules the all systems in the pineal gland, okay? The element is space, all right? 
and the qualities is freedom, unity, lightness, and joy, okay? Uh, some of you may really need some space at this time as well, okay? But I feel like you you may just want to feel free, be free, okay? Um, be light and loving, okay? Uh, pouring um, your um, meditations and your manifestations into your body and just, you know, trying to receive... Um, whatever it is that you want to call towards you, okay? This is the Mira Mudra. Someone likes the color orange, okay? This is about nourishment, okay? Taking care of oneself, taking care of your body, okay? Uh, body, mind, and spirit. This assists inner nourishment, breath, and serenity. This promotes abdominal breathing, pro provides relief for asthma, supports reproductory, eliminatory, and urinary systems, directs breath to sacrum, lower back, and pelvis. The focus is my natural breath flows in calm and nourishing ways, okay? Ooh, how do you do that? Let's see. Am I doing it right? Nope. All right. Mira Mudra, okay? I love chakras. I really, really do. Okay, we're going to get a message from Frida, and then we're going to get a last message from Tarot to close it out. Okay, Libra? Wow. These readings have been long this week. Your life has been... <laughs> Somebody just said, because you talk too much. Whatever. Your life has magnitude. You are magnificent. Honor yourself with a grateful attitude, okay? Yeah, I see you like, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, yeah, I know, I know I got this. I got this. That's all right. Yeah. They didn't call me today. That's cool. It's okay. Because I know something better is coming, okay? This person's trying to play me right now. They're really trying to play me. But you know what? It's all good. <laughs> I got some for that. That's how she looking like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, I see you. I see you. Some of you may like to wear necklaces, okay? Or you could be, uh, you know, working jewelry, like jewelry or something like that. Okay, let's get the last message for you. I'm seeing a new car as well. Someone that's an emperor that's coming towards you. Someone that's stable is coming towards you. But you got some people watching you, okay? One of them could not be so good, so be careful. They could have fire in their chart. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. All these cards came out. What is this about? Ooh, we. Okay, so yeah, you got, ooh. Some of you could be hearing from this person's person, <laughs> or you may know this person's person, okay? Yeah, this person is definitely dealing with somebody else here. Queen of Wands came out. Mm -hmm. But this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you, okay, with the fool. But this person realized they were a fool, and now they see that they missed the opportunity with you. Some of you, this person could be drinking as well here, or you, there's something. This person could be an over overindulging in here. There's a message that's coming towards you, okay, possibly from this Queen of Wands that you may be hearing from. Or you're going to message this person, be careful with arguments, get into it with people, okay? You may hear this person could come in and tell you, okay? This person could come in and tell you that they got kicked out of the home by this queen of one. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just, I'm just calling like, because I'm getting different scenarios, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. They could be calling you to tell you that, um... Yeah, they got kicked out the home, okay? This person could be having some kind of financial hardship at this time or there's something going on in their life, some kind of difficulties going on around them and their surroundings as well, okay? But I see for some of you, you could be refusing offers from people. Your heart could be kind of closed off. You're going to be like, you know, standing your ground, okay? But this is about you gathering the strength, having resilience in the situation here, 
okay? I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be focusing on your independent wealth. Some of you are single out there, okay? But I see your finances definitely looking good. You're going to be really stable and wealthy, okay, for some of you, or your money is going to be looking good. I feel like your hard work is definitely going to be paying off, okay? Collecting your investments, thriving on business and trade as well, okay? Uh, your status, business status, independence is definitely looking good, okay? There may be some kind of news regarding a move. Maybe you're moving or you're leaving something, okay, out in the cold, possibly a, a job as well. Yeah, you're going to be walking away from this uh, person here, okay, or this job with the three of, of pinnacles that's coming out here. Some of you are going to be walking away from a job and something new, something better is coming in. We also have a king of cups here. We have their hermits and uh, the five of cups. Okay. So this person is very sad that they've lost you. They see, they realize that you're going to walk away from them. You're disappointed. You left this relationship. You're moving on. And this person is sad for some of them. They're going to come back and they're going to beg you, ask you for forgiveness because they're really hurt. For some of you, they could be crying as well here. Okay. They're really mourning you and they see you as a loss. This person's have done some soul searching, introspection, reflection. Okay. And while they're thought about this that now they want to come in and express their love okay so yeah you may hear they may tell you about this other person that they were dealing with this person was uh it's like they weren't happy with them okay um and it's like now they may be single okay as well but i feel like you like i say this person it, they they just I feel like they're just all over the place. I feel like they have a lot going on in their own life at this time here, okay? And at the end of the day, there's nothing really that they can offer you, okay? Honestly, I don't feel like this person really can offer you a whole lot because I feel like they have other things that's going on around them at this time, and they really need to do some healing. But now for some of you, they want to come in and move towards you. You may allow this, you may not, but majority of you, I do see that you're going to be walking away, okay? <clears throat> because happiness is coming in. You're going to see the truth, okay? Yeah, you're going to be uh, rebuilding your life for the better here. But now this person wants to come in and speak, your, speak their truth, okay? Yeah, but it could be that they're going through a tower moment right now. Some of you may have children with this person here, okay? But if they see you as their happiness, they want to compromise with you. But this is only going to cause a conflict or it's because they have having conflict in their life. Okay? That's all that I have, Libra. Thank you again. I'm Tosh for Unstoppable. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Okay? Peace.